images to your your pages you want that page to have a really nice um, banner that goes all the way across your screen uh, and I've imported you can see here a, a view for logo uh, this is just simply the natural size that it came in I'm gonna go ahead and say I really want that to be a, a pretty large image uh, so I'll choose the extra large and I'll click OK and it's still really not as large as I want it to be I'd really like it to go all the way across my screen kind of like as my header for my web page or my uh, whatever page it is I'm, I'm working on so I'm gonna click again let's see uh, if I can choose that custom option and make it go all the way across uh, 10 76 I believe does a pretty good job so click done and that takes it all the way across the page however if I read if, if I want my my page to do kind of see how it's changing size right so if I'm looking at a, a small window or if I'm looking at a real large window it, it does that if I go ahead let's click save and I'll, I'll see the image pop up and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna see if it will adjust Oh, wait a minute but it adjusted before right uh, in your window it, it keeps that up there because you're working with it but in practice when you bring it into your website it's not going to do that so let's figure out how we can make that of all the things that I've, I've kind of brought up in, in the last few tutorials this is one of the easiest things you can do um, we're gonna mess with that code again I'm gonna click my HTM editor what I'm looking for is I'm looking for uh, here's the Buford logo I entered right you can see that and right after it, it it tells me the width that I chose to put it into now if you've left it as medium if you left it as small it won't matter it's gonna have that width here I'm going to highlight that width and I'm gonna change it to this one thing I'm gonna go 100 percent so change the number from whatever pixel it was right and now I've changed it to a hundred percent Right, and I click OK, and I know this is going to do it because it did it last time. But let's see if it took place. Let's save that, and now we can see how it's going to behave in, in a traditional setting. So if I shrink it now, so if I'm looking at it on, on a mobile device or uh, anything else, then it will shrink to accommodate that web page uh, up to a certain amount. Like obviously, I have a certain uh, width, or I have a certain um, height prescribed so once it reaches that height it'll stop and then uh, that will keep it that way and so this way I can get a an image that will automatically resize to the size of my web page and that makes a lot of that really helps when you're working on lots of different sizes of screens especially with mobile devices versus tablets versus uh, laptops or even desktops with really large screens Hope that helped.